So in the last video I was looking at one of these relay boards which is designed for the ESP01s which I think this is a ESP01 and they plug into there and it allows you to uh, have a Wi-Fi activated relay but uh, this was just spare and I decided to connect this to the Pico Explorer really not the Pico Explorer itself but I'm just uh, accessing using this to access the ports on the Pi Pico so I was able to trigger this relay, if the wrong way round, off this LED, wiring up the uh, pin 7 here on this to the pin that was being accessed by my Simon code, actually. So in this video, I'm going to continue this, but this time let's look at the code. OK, so back at the code. So this is the last code that I've done a video about with all the LEDs working. And if I look here, so let's say LED B... LED B there, which one's that there? So that's pin five. Let's uh, set this wrong thing to pin six at the moment. Six, all right. In fact, let's just leave that as it is. I'll do a new pin. Um, I've still got pin seven down the bottom as well. So let's just test this um, and I'll call this relay. So relay and I'll make that pin seven. That's okay, so I'll need to wire that then from pin 7 there. So if I run this now, it shouldn't really do anything different. 2, 3, 4. At the moment, I've just defined that pin 7, but I'm not doing anything with it. So let's stop that and let's uh, remind ourselves of where we turn the lights on. So block A active, LED A off. So it was B, LED B on. So I'm going to copy that and have that as relay, relay on and relay off. So let's see whether that does anything. Okay. So that's the same behaviour as before, but I'm just driving a different GPIO pin. Now, I suppose the easiest thing to do here, which isn't really what I want to do, but if I set that as relay off and set that as relay on and stop and run that, then hopefully that blue light should go on the same time as the yellow light. Yeah. OK, so it's not very intuitive because actually when the relay is on, it's energised and when it's off, it's not. So let's uh, let's play with that then. Instead of using that relay there, let's uh, stop that clicking. That should. Yeah, so that stopped it clicking. I removed it from there and actually I'm going to work out this wrong pin now. So let's uh, let's get rid of the relay and I'm just going to say wrong is pin um, 7. All right, so somewhere here, have I got wrong? Do I set wrong when something goes bad? I would do that in my uh, do that in my game loop, don't I? So wrong off. So that's the bit. So wrong on there. And then wrong off. So I think that's the wrong. <laughs> that is the wrong way round for wrong because we had to set this particular pin for off when we wanted it to go on. It must just be the way this board is wired up, and we want that to be on there. All right. So you can see what I want this to do. So look, here's the normal gameplay. Now, if we do a wrong key. Uh, now it's jammed on. So we've somewhere I've got to make sure that, well, that turned wrong on, wrong off, wrong on. Have I got it the wrong way around? It's very, very confusing. <laughs> All right, let's try again. So Simon says that one. That's okay. And I'll do that so it's wrong it worked 
All right, so we can now turn on something when we get the wrong event in the game. That's it, so <laughs> that's, yeah, so wrong off. So if you're wrong, then turn the wrong off. Oh, well, I suppose what I could do is have a little procedure to just say relay on and relay off and write an extra little procedure here to do that just to stop it being confusing but it works for this so the standard thing then is that the relay is unenergized but when we're in the wrong mode we set this pin to off which makes when that tone's playing it makes the relay energize and then we have to turn it to on afterwards and the on condition of this pin stops the relay being energized so that's that's i've done what i want now so that's using one of these little esp boards with a, a pico explorer obviously you could wire these pins directly into this if you wanted and have this control that relay but yeah it was just interesting because that was a three volt volt relay and the pico explorer is three volts so I think that would probably work. Of course, now we could make that switch mains voltage or do whatever we want. So I wonder what I could use to uh, turn off and on when you get something wrong. Hmm. I've been thinking if this is designed to go in there if that goes in there and it can fire either of these GPIO pins what would happen if I put that in here obviously not in that place but could I use this Wi-Fi adapter to put a rudimentary Wi-Fi control onto the Pi Pico Sure, I could. <laughs> 